Hey, I'm gonna try to get this out there before I gotta run into work. Look, man, that verse I just put out, I couldn't see the whole thing at the time. Like, it's so amazing. Look what uh, Abraham did with uh, Isaac. He was willing to uh, sacrifice his only son. And that's what God did for us. He sacrificed his only son to pay for our sins, right? Abraham had faith in God that whatever he was being told or led to do by God, it was correct. And 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 under understand understand this man. Um, what he's doing is he's prepping us for the mark of the beast. It's what he's prepping us for. We're not saved by faith alone. It's works. We're gonna have to take a stand, make an affirmative decision um, in the midst of men while we're here. And if you're left behind and not caught up and taken home by that first fruit wave offering, that first fruit rap, the rapture. If you're not spared from that and you're here you're you yeah, more than likely you're gonna you're gonna be put to death or in prison and who who knows what um most likely put to death is what the bible says for your faith by refusing to take that mark when the antichrist comes into power and i think he's gonna come into power when the rapture occurs i think that's when he's gonna truly come, start to come into power and come into power so so anyways, what's going on here is uh, he's telling us um, you're going to have to make a stand that could kill, that could kill you. You're, you're going to have to make a firm stand and, and it might kill your children if, if you, you know, if you give them this word and, and let them make a firm stand, but it, it's going to be their own decision. Um, we are all children of most high and, and if you, but if you love the things of this world, if you don't have a relationship with God through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, if you haven't taken a firm enough stance and answer on these, these things, these eternal questions of life and existence, um, then you very well could succumb to that mark of the beast to try to save your flesh. You're going to have to make a stand definitely there's no doubt about it and um you know so i believe that's what he's preparing us for the the mark of the beast there that's getting ready to come out because i mean we keep hearing trump he plans on bringing it out before the election and uh even if he don't it'll be shortly it's going to be it's going to be real soon so he's preparing us for it he's preparing us for it we're not saved by faith alone or works alone but i can show you faith by my works if you make a stand like the early christians did they refused to uh reject christ uh, and and uh they were being fed to lions their children were being fed to lions their wives their children their family and uh and they were being put to death in some of the most horrific ways that mankind ever conceived but they stood right up they stood on their faith they stood on it by their and it was a show of works like like Abraham did with being willing to sacrifice his son you know so under understand that he's preparing us for the mark of the beast um it's going to it's going to be so difficult when uh when the antichrist comes into power because you're you won't be able to buy sell have a job you won't be able to go to a grocery store um uh, most likely this 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 biometric ooh, bioluminescence mark that's going to be inserted into you is going to be tied into like a digital currency system as well because we can all see that coming about too and uh you definitely won't be able to have a job unless you have it so you won't even have cash as it is um you know if that whatever you have is going to run out real quick if not be stolen and taken by the government by the when they change this monetary system you know all your accounts might be uh, moot um, unless you have this mark. So it's going to make it really difficult. You're going to have to make a stand. You're going to have to, uh, you know, it's a combination of faith and works. You're going to have to do that. You're going to have, and I think that's what he was saying there, especially by the example of Abraham and his uh, son there, and what God did with his son. Right? Don't, don't. And he came to show us the way. You know, he was crucified and put to death. He was crucified and put to death. For our sake, you know, to show us, to show us the way to get back home. 
because uh, and this is of vital importance because it's all through the Bible. It's all through there. It's interwoven through every scripture that uh, he's telling us who he is, that he's our loving father, and that we're his children who have went astray. And um, we were born into darkness, into the flesh, into this vain show, this phantom, this idol. And, um, you know, and he... he he wants us to understand that. And if you don't understand that, when these trials and tribulations and the uh, set this this horrific time period that's coming upon all mankind, if you're if you're not firm, if you haven't made a firm and answer and understand who you are and what our bodies are and stuff, you're mm, most likely you're gonna fail and take that wide path. You're just gonna take that vaccine and oh it's not a big deal, I'll take the vaccine, my life can return to normal. It's never going to be normal again, ever. And I'm not saying that to scare anybody. It's a beautiful thing. We're getting ready to be taken home. Our God, our Lord, our Savior is, is going to reveal himself. Uh, you know, he's going to catch us up, the first fruit wave offering. And then on uh, everybody who was still double-minded on the fence and uh, loving this world and the things of it, completely deceived by Satan about what this world actually is and our bodies actually are, they're, they're going to be shaken to the core. To the core, they're going to be forced to make an affirmative answer one way or the other. But unfortunately, the majority is going to take that mark of the beast, and he's preparing us for it. He's preparing us for the mark of the beast. So that's what I believe that verse was all about. All right, God bless. Have a great day. Bye.